you guys rest here I am so much excited to show you the one super cool feature of github today <coughs> sorry <coughs> as you can see this screen here this is my portfolio and it is really cool so this looks very nice and, and I just like it very much this is so cool so if you also want to create your github portfolio look something like this then there are a few steps the first one is to create a repository with your username github username for instance my github username is usrest so what i do here is create a new repository with my username so my username is usrest so all i have to do is type in my username and you can see a secret and make sure your repository is public and initialize repository with readme file as well so readme file is the one which does the trick and this username this must be same as your github username okay so because i have already created this repository i'm just going to ignore this and i have already cloned this repository into my local machine so these are the contents i have in my readme file which i can show you here so if you want exact exact same content in your in your github portfolio then you can just copy paste and update your contents as per requirement so and this is the readme file i have here so just to demonstrate you i'm just gonna clean up few things from here and save it and let's push the change into my repository oh shit i forgot to add and commit so i have a one liner over here now just visit your repository and refresh as you can see all the contents are gone from here so you get an idea i'm just gonna reboot my changes over here so here are a few tricks uh, and tweaks you can implement in your readme file as well uh, like uh, stack overflow activity latest youtube videos latest tutorial and uh, github stats uh, all these items are dynamic uh, so you don't have to manually write those into your uh, readme file for instance let me remove all the contents from my stack overflow and uh, youtube as well As you can see here my stack over activity and latest youtube videos are gone so let me push these changes into my repository and wait for a second now let's visit my page refresh and as you can see my stack over activity and uh, youtube videos are gone so to face these contents dynamically from your stack overflow account and uh, youtube account i'm using a simple workflow by gautam krishna he did an amazing job creating this workflow so i'll post this link below in description you can copy from there and just follow up the guidelines we showed here to list out your blog post and to list out your stack overflow activities youtube videos so you can just go to just visit this page and follow these guidelines which i will also show you here so in my 
account there are no stack of activity and latest to videos for this we need to set up workflow and for that i just copied this content into my workflows which i have created here for stack overflow and youtube workflow so in stack overflow all you have to do is uh, put your stack overflow user id here and in youtube just put your youtube video i mean youtube channel account channel id here and update name and uh, name and this uh, playlist id i mean the youtube channel id and in stack overflow name and your stack overflow user id and save it push it to your github account and there go to your repository first so this is my repository with my username open this repository and here you can see my stack for stack work for activity and latest youtube videos are not here so in your actions there you'll find uh, two workflows the first one in later the first one is latest youtube videos and the second one is stack work for activity for which i have already shown you the yaml file which you can copy paste it from my repository and in there just run your workflow and your stack overflow workflow as well run it once this uh, workflow completes then this will fetch the latest uh, uh, youtube videos and latest stack overflow activities and write down these contents into your readme file so once those workflow completes you'll see your stack overflow activity here and youtube videos here so youtube workflow is already completed so you can see my latest five youtube videos refresh it again uh, so maybe this workflow is still running in background let's see one minute ago okay this should work what's going on let's run that workflow once again okay now you can see here my stack overflow activity contents is available here so this is how you are gonna create your uh, github portfolio i mean this looks really nice and i really love this so hope you guys also like this if you have any comments regarding this video then just comment down below and uh, uh, like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already so thanks for today see you next time bye